To actually be here is pretty amazing. So yeah, we just love celebrating with everybody and some of the talent who helped make the film. Uh, it was such a great team effort, especially during a difficult time. And everybody just came together and, and made it happen. We're so proud of this film and we're excited to share it with everybody. Yeah, we certainly, you know, um, it, it really is a, a movie that's all about the summer friendships of our youth. We wanted to take everybody to the beautiful Riviera and, and you know, um, I had a, the luck of spending my summers there when I was a kid and we really felt, we felt it working through this, you know, last year and a half. This was a little bit of sunshine through our lives as we were trying to make this, even through difficult times, it really brought a lot of light to us and we, we really felt like, oh, we can't wait to share it with the world. We can't wait to start the summer this way. It really, you know, I hope it's a splash into the water for everybody and, and hopefully we can splash in, in yes. at the beach for real, you know, right after watching the movie. Yes. It's all about swimming and gelato and enjoying the summer sun, so. Yeah, we loved from um, day one that we had this wonderful idea of having kids that have this huge secret, that somehow they have this sea monster, you know, they're truly sea monsters that can hide their uh, true nature. So we love how that really speaks to as kids. We have all our different ways of feeling like we, we're not, you know, we haven't found ourselves or we're ashamed of something within ourselves. So we love that this is really a story about how we find confidence to show all of ourselves um, and those amazing friends that accept us all of it and really probably are the first one to, you know, even before, <laughs> before we do uh, accept all of uh, our identity. Yeah, we love that theme in the film of Silencio Bruno. It's all about, you know, that voice of negativity in your head and, and hopefully the film helps everybody realize you can decide not to listen to that voice and, and that that's a part of, um, you know, finding who you are and finding, you know, your people. And, and, you know, when you do, you know, that geeky, nerdy part of yourself, you know, there's this cute line that's like, am I too much? And in the film you feel like, no, you're not too much. And But you have to kind of get over the things that hold you back in order to get to that place. Yeah, really, at the beginning of this journey, I really started thinking about what is it that makes these friendships at this age so special. I know that my best friend and I, we were very different. I was timid and he was more of a go-getter. He had a new passion every week. So I really <laughs> needed someone to kind of pull me and, and kind of challenge me. So, you know, down to the point of like trying to ask myself, would I be the person I am if I hadn't met him? Because I think it, they're such formative years. Um, so I, I love that and that made, it, made us dig deeper at friendship. What, why are they so special? We see each other, we accept each other. Um, again, I think that there's such lovely things that these friendships do. And when you do grow up together, thanks to each other, the, the other sad part is sometimes you have to also say goodbye and go your separate way. That's a, certainly a big theme in, in the movie too, that, that um, you have to keep them in your heart when you go into the world, bringing all you've learned together with you. Well, it's a love letter to Italy, and I think that, you know, it's fun for people to really feel like they get to be transported in this one film, not just to Italy, but to summer. You know, we kind of joke that there should be a warning at the beginning that says, you might want to make sure you have some pasta around, even better if you have some pesto, because you're going to be craving it by the end of this film.